All right, here we are where we left off from last time. So you can see with what that looks like. And all I'm going to do is very similar technique to what I did last time, which is try to land up here towards this corner with a little bit of curl. Thinking right around five rings over with that angled wind. And aside from that, we're going to try to overpower it a bit with some curl, as you can see, with about how much curl I'm applying. Ooh, and the great ball is going to end up costing me big time. So you can see I hit the bunker. We really need to hit your perfects or get close to perfect. So let's see if we can bear ourselves out of that. All right, so let's see what we have here. You can see I really put some pressure on my short game to start off here. I should be able to get this up towards the green now. And you can see with what I'm doing with my curl, I just need to be somewhat close to perfect. And it looks like I miss. So really going to put pressure on myself to start off here. It looks like I did catch the rough. If I can get perfect ball, it should be a relatively straight wind and should be able to still be able to make that for birdie. Right, so here we are. I uh, have a relatively straightforward pitch here. Just going to require perfect ball more so than anything. I'm thinking just a little bit of backspin to create some control with that ball guide coming in. So right around two bars. And you can see with what, with my aim, other than this, I'm going to play just a little bit of break and wind, but not very much. But if I can get perfect ball, there's a good chance that I can run this in. So it looks like I did catch perfect ball. Oh, and it deflects off the stick. I can't believe. All right, here we are. Par five, par three here. Hole two. First look at this one. We're going to play some wind effect. Try to get it right up onto the front of the green, similar to this. Other than this, definitely going to play beyond max, which is 2.0 per ring for me. So I'm going to go at least maybe four and a quarter rings here, which is an overplay because of shooting down to a lower slope here. So let's see how this plays out. So far, so good. Looks like just a little bit light on the ring adjustment. If you can see, um, you know, trying to master that wind effect plus also how much to play for that wind. Uh, it's going to be the biggest complication. All right, let's take a look. This will be an important, if I switch over to the extra mile, it will be important to get my perfect ball here. It's a tough call as to what to do here. Because you definitely want to make sure that you wind up in the fairway. I'm going to play this out here with some curl. Three and a half rings. A little bit of curl. Not trying to force the power. Just trying to make sure more than anything. I get my perfect. Definitely going to want that. You see just enough curl. To keep that from the rough. It's going to be... Very pivotal tee shot to make sure that you get that perfect. If you do switch to the extra mile, if you can go with like a QB8 or something, it's ideal. All right, here we are. Thinking somewhere around the neighborhood of two, two and a half on the backspin. So somewhere right in here. In terms of the land zone, I'd like to land somewhere up in here. It's about four rings down. Imagine I should be able to maybe go perfect ball here. Kind of at... Just kind of at the max line. It should hop over and go towards the hole here. Play about four rings down or so. So tough to get the aim down when you can't, when you don't get your tee shot a little bit farther. But uh, we should be good to at least secure the eagle there.
right, here we are. You can see very close to the max line here. Didn't quite drive this quite far enough, but we'll make it work. I'm gonna basically try to land right around here, which is five rings down. We'll pull in this direction. Probably gonna go just a couple more rings. This would be 5.8 right here. The alignment's off, it's gotta be over here somewhere. I'm gonna try to get the alignment down. That looks a little bit better. And aside from that, I'll just pull just a little bit extra. And just off the mark. But you can see with what I was trying to do there, with the alignment, almost was able to get that one to fall. All right, here we are. Going to try to do the minimum required, which is kind of land around here. Let's give it some top spin. No extra power. Try to keep this as controlled as possible. Try to get this in the fairway. As you can see, I'm able to keep it there. Give myself a good chance at the eagle. All right, here we are. Second shot. Just try to go at this with some top spin here. Somewhere in the neighborhood of this. See how much side spin I got on it. Should be close to five ish rings on the adjustment. It looks like it's going to come up just a wee bit short. Didn't quite get a very nice hop, but uh, nevertheless, uh, should be a guaranteed eagle from there. What I'm going to do is put this on the front of the cup here and make sure that my ball guide is in the center. Just pop this up right into the hole. All right, here we are. Let's take a look at this drive. To probably go into just a tiny bit of power here, also with some curl. Get somewhere around here with my aim. Pretty much max on the curl. Let's bend this around the tree here. Sure enough, right into the fairway, give yourself a good look at Eagle. All right, here we are. Looks like a little bit towards min club here. So maybe 2.5-ish per ring. Around four on the back spin. Maybe just a little bit more than four. Four and a half. In terms of my ring adjustment, around three, I think, just a little bit more. Perfect ball. And sure enough, there it is. All right, here we are. Let's try almost one full top spin. And in terms of where I'm going to aim, thinking somewhere, maybe just put that full. Somewhere up here. Should be close to five rings here. Perfect. So let's see how this plays out. It's coming in pretty good. Almost got the line down. 
Let's see a good opportunity to be able to get this hole out. And hopefully with just some minor tweaking there, we'll be able to uh, pop that one in before the weekend closes. I think I'm going to try this again one more time with the quarterback. See if I'm able to get this into the fairway. So I'm thinking right around here with the aim. So if I can play maybe that many rings. Let's just try to go just a little bit more into power this time. So did catch my perfect ball and looks good looks good so if I do struggle with that I will switch to the extra mile but I would really like to have that accuracy to just ensure that even with a great ball I can uh, hopefully secure that fairway I think I just got just if you guys watch my qualifier shot just maybe just a little touch too careful with the overpower just need to make sure that I go just a tiny bit more all right, here we are, and you can see that uh, relatively close. It looks like, you know, I do probably need to get just a little bit into overpower here. I'm going to try to use my max ring adjustment and then pull up to the max line and maybe add just a little bit of power as well. So I'd almost go four rings, maybe just a little bit light under normal circumstance, and that has to do with extra for the wind effect. Just an FYI. Other than this, I'm going to try to align this pretty straight and just pull straight up. And maybe just a little bit of overpower, as you can see. Ah, I'm pretty sure that uh, great ball is going to push me out to the left. But let's see if I even put enough power on that. So not even. It's probably best that I just got it to the fringe there. It'll probably make for a pretty easy uh, pitch here. All right, here we are. And uh, as you can see, right on the fringe, this should be pretty trivial. And one of the main reasons that I actually use the down and one in these early stages, even with a great ball, I should be able to easily secure this into the hole 10 out of 10 times. So we're really not uh, too worried about this one. As you can see, um, straight into the hole and why I pretty much love this club. As long as you can get it to, you know, quarter, half club, uh, you, you really give yourself a very good chance to be able to make all pitches. Um, and especially until you can get Embringer unlocked, it gives you a very good, uh, very good accuracy. All right. I'd like to land about there. I'm thinking six to seven-ish rings over from the edge. Some curl, a little bit of power. <laughs> Try to back off on the power just a little bit. And you get a 7.3. Well, all that looks pretty good and a decent amount of rollout as well. Much better in the front. All right, so let's take a look. There's the max line. I'll try to make sure that I do hit that. Getting right around four backspin. Might be a bit too much. You got to make sure that you keep some rollout. Try right there. That looks pretty good for alignment. Three rings, probably a little bit obsessive. Let's try right there. Right around three. Ah, caught a great ball. So definitely going to miss. Oh, it looks like it hit the fairway anyway. Alrighty. Let me get some ball guide all set here. Land somewhere around the front of this green. Almost two grids over. <gasps> to go at least max here, plus some, plus maybe an extra ring. 
So five-ish rings in this case. Just a little bit more than five. Ooh, ooh. Not gonna like that great ball. So that's definitely going to uh, shoot it over. Would have been interesting to see how good that perfect ball would have been. So there I got my perfect. Should shoot down right close to the bunker there. And with the curl that I applied, keep it just short of the rough. There's not enough roll out there, um, especially with my limited top spin. But uh, perfect ball will be, you know, very important, especially in the early, until you can get it to probably an extra mile five or six. But there you can see I'm able to pull that off and put it in the fairway for a good chance for the albatross. Right here we are. Let's take a look at this shot. I'm hoping that I got just a little bit more. I did. So I got a little bit more power on this by playing it the way that I did. Which actually is going to keep me in range to hopefully hit a precision shot here. And hopefully give myself at least a chance with about two and a half on the backspin, give or take. Thinking somewhere right around here. Two... And we'll play kind of close to mid-ish club here. So maybe 2.25 per ring. Two and a half rings here. Somewhere right around here. Got my perfect. So let's see how this comes in. It is hard to play this fairway. It's kind of all over the place, and you can see well to the left. It's very tough to get this one online because the fairway is just so up and down. You really got to uh, – I, I, I haven't been able to find a really consistent land zone yet on that fairway. Just too much. All right, here we are back for this hole. I'm going to try to land right in here somewhere. Just a little bit of overpower. Try to get it just a little bit farther than last time. Since I was right at the max line. So, so far looks pretty good. And should have a nice look for the eagle. All right, so we have a nice look here. This plays pretty close to one per ring downhill. So just going to get my alignment down with about three backspin or so. Right in here. And other than that, Pretty close to one per ring, so maybe six and a half ish rings. Just a little bit more. Got my perfect. So just a little bit light. Right, just going to try to focus on perfect ball here, somewhere in here. So it looks pretty good. 
got my perfect. So should hold on to the fairway. So sure enough, right down the center and give herself a good chance for eagle. All right, here we are. Let's see if I can uh, grab eagle here. Get this going towards the hole. Close to four rings here with the adjustment. Perfect ball. And just a bit off on the alignment, but uh, up here easy for Eagle. Right, here we are, hole seven. Hopefully I can get this one again. So I'm gonna play it about eight or so rings over from the edge. Just a little bit of power and curl it around this tree. So there you can see we got our perfect. Should just shoot up the left hand side, get us close to min club and in position to make that one again. All right, so there's the min line. Should be able to get away with right around here. Four and a half ish on the backspin. And you can see what I'm doing with my alignment there. Thinking 2.4 ish per ring, just a little bit more than two rings, be right here. Got our perfect. Hopefully we can get this one to fall again. And sure enough, this has been our savior for this round. All right, here we are. So I'm going to play this very similar to the way that I've been doing. I'll, you know, almost use my full spin here. See with where my alignment is. And we're going to try to play with this one. I'm thinking four-ish rings or so. So very close to here. And just try to focus on getting our perfect. Sure enough, there it is. So let's see how this comes in. See if I have enough topspin on this. Come on, run out. Oh, so just a little bit short. You can see the alignment looks pretty good. That's almost straight on. Should probably just use that full. I don't know if I quite got that right at full, but uh, you can see it's a good line. Gives you a good chance to be able to hold it taking that route. All right, here we are, last hole. Just got to avoid one more mistake and try to focus on getting this ball into the fairway up here. So I'm going to try to hold this line. I'm thinking right around maybe five-ish rings. That's my aim. Maybe right in here. I'm going to try to crank up most of the full ball here. So it looks like I did catch a perfect. So let's just see what my alignment looks like here. So, so far so good. Looks like I did catch the fairway. So we should be good to go. That's the strategy that I really like. Um, just in case I do catch a great ball, you can see, you know, not having to go full power does give you kind of a nice... Uh, opportunity there to catch perfect ball and even without it um, you know I think with a one ring great ball with not a lot of top spin will probably still hold the fairway all right here we are we're going to get our alignment down I think full power is going to be too much I'm going to try to add a little bit more off of what I did last time um, you know I'm going to play a little bit of an overplay which will be about just a little bit more than four rings and just get this alignment. I'm going to push it back up to the max. And I am going to go just a little bit more power than I did last time. Ah, I didn't catch the perfect. So again, I imagine it's going to shoot out to the side just a little bit, but I should get a little bit better on the power situation up by the hole. So you can see it does just cross. And with a perfect ball, may have just been out to the left just a little bit too much. 
but should insure our eagle. All right, hey guys, so here we are. We're in the Pro Pro League here. Um, pro Leagues and Pro Division Tournaments. I just want to kind of show you how everything finished up. Um, if you were following along, you should know for the most part what happened. Um, you know, aside from hole one, where I completely hit a really terrible drive. Uh, and it's funny because, you know, I almost eagled it on the back. I had a very good opportunity, and it's definitely something that can be got. But the fine line between par and eagle there, um, you just got to focus on making sure you put the ball in play. And um, similarly, you know, had I gave myself maybe a bunker with a bunker shot with a little bit more range, um, I would have easily still got the birdie on that, even with the errant tee shot. So it is something that I still want to, you know, try to press the bounds a little bit uh, to try to get it up to the short iron range because I think I made it, yeah, I made it in the qualifier. So with that being said, you know, you really do want to get it up there. And if you can get it up to short iron range, you'll give yourself a really good chance. Um, but aside from that, let's take a look at, let me see if I can pull up my player card here. Um, just so you guys know how I finished up here. Um, I only lost one match throughout the all. Now I did skip through the, um, you know, I, I skipped through them just so you don't ha have to, you know, watch a bunch of shots that uh, are a little bit harder to find. But, um, you know, this is entirely free to play. And just keep in mind, you know, there's no bad luck or bad matching that I'm getting. Um, it just doesn't exist. Um, you know, I'm 260 games in and, you know, the opponents that I'm getting are very fair. They're always... You know, statistically, people who are, should be in pro, essentially. So as long as you stay in the proper divisions, uh, you know, you, you do play a lot of opponents near your trophy count. Uh, not always. Uh, you know, it can be pretty much any player, but, um, you know, they are going to be in the same leagues as you. So if you're in pro and you've never moved up from pro, this is the highest league I've ever been in. So I've never been in a league higher than this. Um, you know, I'm going to try to work towards maybe getting up to expert eventually. But as you can see, you know, if you guys remember where my uh, progress is for my tour, tour play, I have barely just started cracking into seven. And um, if you guys want to see where my clubs stand as well, because, you know, I wasn't going into the bag each and every time, but you can just kind of get a feel. Um, one of the big things you can see my sniper. I'm getting a decent amount of sniper cards, and that's uh, in turn by jet. So I've been gemming all of my chests. I gem 16 chests. So I don't know if you picked up on this home screen here. I have all golds here. So I won 17 matches. Uh, I gemmed 16 of 17, and that gave me four golds in the uh, in my full slot there. So I'm just gonna you know wait it out and buy. Uh, Saturday for my weekend round, all that should be cleared out and, uh, I'll be, uh, you know, getting my gem count back up as well. And I'll be able to gem the rest of my weekend accounts as well. So what that's going to allow me to do is kind of progress my clubs. Cause remember, I'm not spending a single dime on this account. It's never bought anything, no golden shots, no, uh, packages, um, and it just kind of goes to show you, you know, it can be done. You just kind of got to take your time uh, and more than anything, just kind of master the concepts. That's the big key is mastering the concepts, knowing the spins and being able to execute the shots. Uh, and, uh, you know, perfect ball, especially when I'm rolling with still this Guardian 2. You know, this is the primary wood that I'm winning my shootouts with. So if I'm beating guys with Guardian 2, you know, you can see the statistics. It, it just kind of shows you that the concepts are more important and having that backspin attribute. Um, if, if you guys were watching my uh, shots, you'll see that I got hole 7 both times. I did it with Guardian. No ball guide. You know, I don't have the ball guide, but I don't need it. So focus on the way that I line things up. And, you know, if you can get a good idea of how many rings to go and, you know, definitely get your perfect ball timing. If you're having trouble with the perfect 
ball timing, you know, the first thing you want to look at is your device. You know, how good is it? You know, I play on a very good device, which means that the, you know, the instant that my finger releases, I get instant response time from my device. It does make it easier to hit perfect ball. So if you are struggling with perfect ball, you know, that's the first thing that you want to be looking at. Uh, you know, the phone that I play with is top of the line. There's very few phones that are, uh, you know, more, more suitable than uh, the one that I play with. It's a Samsung Note 9. And, um, you know, if you want to kind of elevate your game, you know, that that's kind of the first thing that I, you know, recommend. Of course, it's not, uh, it's not, um, you know, mandatory because I've played on older devices. Uh, when I first started Golf Clash, I played on a very clunky device and I was still able to max the game. So it's not an excuse for kind of poor performance, um, but it, it does, um, it does play an impact. You know, I feel like I can more con consistently, you know, I feel like I'm control of the perfect ball just a, a lot more because what I'd have to do on those older devices, I'd have to guess kind of the amount of lag to play. Essentially, you know, I'm waiting for my device to respond. So I'd have to memorize that timing and it's a lot harder to do than if you get, you know, an upgraded device that can just kind of instantly you know, when you instantly release that finger, there's like no extra swing. So it does make it just a little bit easier. Uh, you know, if you get that good processor, if you get that good amount of RAM memory. So the RAM memory is what's key. And with my device, I have eight gigabytes, which is essentially as much as you can get at this point. Uh, there is some phones, you know, that just recently came out in the, the last quarter or so. Um, where you can get, you know, 10, 12 gigabytes, but uh, there's not very many out there. There's, you know, there's only like a handful of devices on the market capable of even eight gigabits of RAM. So uh, you do know that, uh, you know, if you're getting up into the six, eight gigabytes, um, that's going to be ideal uh, for you to be able to really hone in on that perfect ball timing. Um, you know, making sure that you have that RAM because Golf Clash is a very RAM hungry app. If I was to go into my memory management right now, you'd see that I'm probably using about, you know, half a gigabyte of RAM just on Golf Clash alone. And the operating system, you know, I'm assuming, you know, I, I, I feel my operating system uses at least three gigabits. So, you know, I'm, I'm always constantly at kind of 50 to 60% of my RAM just by doing nothing, essentially, you know, just golf clash. But, uh, you know, I, I don't have problems of filling up. So that is one of, you know, the key things about, you know, definitely looking into upgrading that phone. But, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Um, good luck with your tournaments. Let me know how it's going and uh, I will post my weekend round once I get it. So good luck out there, guys.